All right, hi, and ow, ow, that hurt. Okay, um, welcome to my uh, speed paint, I guess, of Mars Argo. Um, I decided to do this piece because one, I need to start racking up some original pieces for a convention that I want to go to. Um, I don't know if they necessarily have the 50-50 rule, but I'm going to play it safe and do 50% originals and 50% fan art. Um, so I'm starting to do some fan art. <laughs> so here's some fan art. Um, this is Mars Argo, and if you don't know who she is, she's a musician. Um, she was really popular a couple of years ago, and I really enjoyed her. And then she kind of just dropped off the face of the map, and now she's back with a lawsuit against her ex-boyfriend. So I figured I wanted to do a drawing kind of um, as a weird tribute to her. Like, I don't know. It was kind of more of like a, your fans are still here. Like, we still appreciate you, and please come make good music again. <laughs> Um, so if you don't know about Titanic Sinclair and Mars Argo, um, essentially they were a couple, they did music together, and they, um, they had a really good career. I honestly really liked their music. They had a, an internet show, quote unquote, um, and that was funny too. Uh, it was <laughs> very reminiscent of what Poppy is today, and if you know who Poppy is, then you probably know who Titanic Sinclair is as Titanic Sinclair is Poppy's manager or producer or whatever, whatever their relationship is. Um, but it's basically a better version of what Poppy's videos are because um, Poppy's videos are just eccentric to draw an audience, whereas Mars Argo and Titanic Sinclair used to be. I, I don't know. Personally, I think that their be videos are better. Um, not to, like, shit on Poppy or anything. She's, you know, she's she is what she is. Um, and you know, I can respect her craft for that. Um, but yeah, I was kind of pissed off after reading the, um, <laughs> the TMZ article about it as it released court documents and Titanic Sinclair was kind of just like a huge asshole <laughs> to, to, to put it lightly. He was just a huge asshole to her and I started listening to her songs again and I listened to Guppy again. And it was, I know, it, 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 at the time, it was very evident that it was written about her, but I didn't understand that he was so horrible. I was just like, ah, he's just being dumb because they broke up, but it's a good song. Um, his song is very hypocritical. Um, and sure, she, she has a trust fund, but that doesn't make her less of a human, and I don't think he understands that. <laughs> if you haven't heard Guppy, I don't suggest listening it, to it because I don't support him in any way, shape, or form, but if you're very curious, you will come to find that the lyrics um, include uh, a beautiful poetry um, describing a loving young woman. <laughs> um, it, it's basically just shitting on Mars Argo, essentially, and it's, he took the name, she was going to go on her solar career and name the album or, or whatever Guppy, because that's Mars's aesthetic. And he took that from her and named his song Guppy. And um, if you know anything about the case, he took a lot from her. He stole her entire aesthetic and then gave it to Poppy. Um, and Poppy kind of uh, <laughs> carried on the legacy, to so to speak. And Poppy's not bad, but she, in my mind, she's a co-conspirator. She's just as bad as he is. But, like, I don't know. Um, so to the actual painting instead of a vidrama, um, I decided that I didn't like the eyebrows just drawn and filled in. I wanted them to be a part of the line art. So I did that. Um, I'm trying out a new painterly style, which, um, I personally don't think it went very well, but this is my second portrait doing it. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying and I'm trying to get better. Um, I don't know. I just want to, I want my contours and my art to be um, more uh, visible and to be better. I just want my coloring in of this to be better. I mean, I want everything to be better. I hate my line art. I hate the coloring. Um, honestly, I don't really like this piece. Um, but um, I'm kind of proud of like the face and stuff. And I think the ears turned out pretty good. Um, pretty cool. Because... As you'll see later, I did little fluffies. Yeah, I think those are kind of cute. Um, no, but I I'm really hypercritical when it comes to my art. So um, I'm kind of just trying to spew out a lot of pieces. 
um, well, not really spew as this piece took me three and a half hours. It's not like it just was like a, a quickie. Um, <laughs> but I'm trying to do a lot more pieces just to force myself into not hating my artwork as much. So, yeah. And I'm preparing for a local convention um, that's in August. So I have a long time to prepare, but I'm, I'm still getting ready for it. And um, I'm sh I, I, I just want to do a whole bunch of pieces before then. Um, so if you have any art pieces from any fandoms that you'd like to see, you can comment those down below, and I would be more than happy to do those. Um, sorry about this pause. There's going to be a couple pauses. Um, I was on the phone with someone. So, yeah. Um, the hair was really hard for me because I didn't want to just shade it with uh, blacks, and blues don't make sense. I tried blues. Um, but blues don't make sense to be shading um, hair with, especially blonde hair. Um, if it was black, I think blues would be good because black is cooler. Um, but uh, browns and and uh, blondes don't do well with <laughs> with anything but red shading. And so I was trying to not do red shading, uh, but I just had to. So that's why the hair kind of looks a little wonky, a little weird. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let the rest of this speed paint play. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.